Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we have a young man who's going to play his first game in the NHL. I can't imagine what that's like. You've arrived, Doc, and I can just relate of sitting in that locker room and playing your very first game in the National Hockey League, and so many things come across your mind. You think about your family, you think about your mom and dad, all the hours that they gave of their life to help you play the greatest game in the world. You think about the coaches, you think about the teams that you played for, and you look around the locker room and go, wow, I'm in a National Hockey League, and it's going to be an exciting night for that young fellow. Darlene's got his family in the crowd tonight, one night that they will never forget. Regardless of how this game finishes up, congratulations to the young fella. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Hutton's getting tons of work, but that's the lot of the goalie, and he likes it for the Sabres. Yaroslav Halak. Originally a draft pick of the Montreal Canadiens, he earned his very first NHL shutout against the rival and hated Boston Bruins. So in Montreal, the citizens counted that as two wins and two shutouts. The referee has checked. The goal lights work. Let's see if anybody can light them. Eichel's ready for the opening faceoff for Buffalo. Krejci's there for the Bruins. Two bitter rivals remembering the past, about to start some present. Let's go down near the ice for Ray. Pretty easy to tell from my spot, guys, that this is going to be a physical game start to finish. These guys haven't liked each other for a long time. Certainly not going to change in the next 60 minutes. Okay, Ray, thank you. Boston's got a defensive zone win. The Bruins skated up on the side. Laid on to Marshan. Pitching it to Reinhardt. And he steps across the line. Let's it go. Look at this chance. Poke checked away. What a move on that one with the stick. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. Star! First game, first goal. Welcome to the NHL. Sure not playing like a rookie tonight, is he, Doc? He's been on the body. He's been showing his ability to handle the puck and move it around. He's had a terrific... And so play about to resume here. And he's still in euphoria. He's got his first goal in his first game. Wow. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Goes back deep for it. Not a hard hit, but effective. Two minutes, 14 seconds. Trying to go to McAvoy. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Sherry's going to the box, and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Bruins will have the man advantage, and this is their first one of the game. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebounds. Good work in clearing it out. And now it's directed to Johansson. Canes that offensive line. Wonderful stop. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. What a feeling, eh, Enzo? You score in your first NHL game just like you did. Somebody scoops a puck out of the net, and you can't stop smiling, and you can't stop thinking about what a journey it's been to get you to this point. And angled to Chara. Knife down by Johansson. The Sabres shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Pass attempt to Carlo. Propelled to DeBrus. Outstanding save. Got it back out of the zone. 
slid to Carlo. Carried right through the 50-yard line. Fires. Oh, and it's off the mark. We sometimes forget the speeds these guys are playing at, but accuracy is a key in creating chances. The Sabres are going to get a minor penalty for boarding. Yeah, as you can see here, Doc, no chance for the attacking player to protect themselves. That's why it's a two-minute penalty. The Bruins have a big chance here. A five-on-three power play. You don't get too many chances like this, Doc. A five-on-three power play. The key is to be aggressive, get the puck to the net, make those three penalty killers move all over the place. Buffalo's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. The Bruins lug the puck through the neutral zone. Many yards gained to McAvoy. Goes to the backhand. Cleared it out of there. Boston's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. Can he generate something from there? Nicely received at the point. Great poke check there. On to Marchand. A terrific scoring chance denied. Back at the point now. Collected by Krejci. Oh, pocket picked. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Solid glove save. Pitching this one to Krejci. In the slot. Slot shot. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Intercepts that pass. The Sabres force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. Boston's got time for only this rush. Passing one off now to DeBrus. The Sabres' penalty kill has been terrific. That was a long one. This should pick them up. A shot. What a save. Rides the line. Strong wrister. That is a shot that went way wide. Missing the net that badly. There's going to be a teaching point coming from the coach when he gets back to the bench. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Save. The Bruins are at the wing in neutral ice. Gathered up again by Pommonville. In with it now. Let's it go. Blockered away. Couldn't make it through, can't retain possession. A kick pass out of that. Boston's carrying it up the wing. It's dumped in. Back in his defensive end to get it. And finally the whistle blows and they can tend to him. Montour's injury was apparent as soon as you saw this hit. Huge collision. Bone rattling check. The Bruins get the draw. Into the corner with that pass to Bacchus. Buffalo's lugging it up the wing. Pass. Heads along the boards. That's a free puck thanks to the play by David Bacchus. Using the point, he's got it. Fires! Outstanding save with a glove! Buffalo's got a face-off win. The Sabres are skating it up at neutral ice. Did not go very well that time. Loose puck. And moved down to Opozo. Skates along the line. The shot is off. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Open ice hitting is not dead. Solid hit in the middle of the ice. Those are old-fashioned hits. We don't see many of those anymore. Whistle is blown, and 
Now the penalty will be handed out. The Sabres are boxed on a tripping minor. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Well, the power plays had some good opportunities so far here tonight. They have to stay with their game plan. I agree entirely, Eddie. Let's see if they prove us right here. They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. 14 minutes, 49 seconds. Piped in the slot. Tom right over him and couldn't get it passed. Equal to the challenge, nice stop. Just under five minutes to go in the period. Buffalo's got the lead, 1-0. Good job on the draw. Fires! Great save, point blank. That one is pointed to him. Pad block, nice save, tough to follow. Power play continues, so does the pressure here to Johansson. Centering pass. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Hutton's made a number of good stops here early on. We might not see a better save than the one he just made. The Bruins prevail again. Back to the point. Banks it ahead to Johansson. Wonderful block. Puck ends up out of the zone, so they must recoil. Can start the attack going in the zone. Played towards the corner by Bogosian. Good, solid defense there. Solid work there by Johansson. Odd man rush, two on one. Got it all. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. The face off, the tie up, and a solid job from the winger there. Really good cut of the pass. Skating with it now in their own end. Brings it in for an attack. Out in front. Chip to McAvoy. The Bruins needed something from their power play and didn't get it. Flings it. He missed the net. You don't necessarily need the corners from that area on the ice. A quick release is better than speed of shot. Presses that attack. Pass block. Is able to move on in. Lost it, but got it back. He regathered it. Couldn't get his way through. The battling continues along the boards. And offside is called. The Sabres control at center ice. Leads that charge into the zone. Shutout positioning by Skinner. Pass to the slot. Let's it go. Made the save. First period has been completed. And so intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. The Sabres leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. A look now at the lopsided shot totals. 13 for the Bruins and 6 for Buffalo. Hey fans, now is the time to pick up Buffalo's go-ahead goal in this game came a long time ago. And then the teams battled pretty much on even terms the rest of the way. We'll see what the next period brings about. But for now, we'll be right back. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? 
Bruins are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. First base off of period two. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Using the point. Elevator to Eichel. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Steps in from the neutral zone. Quick shot. He saw it coming, and he got in the way. Holds on and gets that whistle. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. The Sabres with a neutral zone possession along the way. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. That went off the pad. Hits the post. Holmanville's opportunity rings off the pipe. He's as dangerous as anybody from this position on the ice. He would have really liked to stretch out that lead. The Bruins are given a hooking minor. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Buffalo's special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Austin's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Buck is thrown to Sherry. Driving in from no man's land. That puck's loose, went off some. Twist one, deflected off the blocker. Laid on to Sherry. Outstanding save, what magic to even get the shot away. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him, what a stop. Back and forth they go between the points. Gets it in the corner. Fires, got that in the trapper. A shooter might want to check his stick if that's all that he's got in the arsenal. It's not going to score very often. Good face-off win. Got it at the point. Oh, broke it up. Cut that pass in his own end. He cleared that puck out of there. Buffalo's going back further to get restarted on this man advantage. Propel to Reinhardt. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Tries to get it over the line. Puck flipped up out of play into the bench area. It's always cool to see somebody so excited to get a game puck. The trick is trying to get it away from the adults so the kids can have it. Just a hair over five minutes have gone by. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Up to the point. possession after that stick lead. The Sabres power play let him down at a very important time. Carried through the middle. He throws it there. Great save. And he holds on and the whistle stops playing. far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. Gathered up by Opposa. Brings a shot. He scores! Goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. 
I don't know how he could be in much better position, Eddie. I got a clean look at this. That is a perfectly placed shot. The Sabres have built a two-goal lead now. Perhaps on this face-off, they can make it three before the end of the second period, at least. And they've taken that face-off between the blue lines and won it. And he dumps it in. Looking to Marchand. Directing that one to Scandella. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. With a shot. Save there. The battle for possession continues. The battle ends as it's kicked out. Has that pass off the boards. Reads the play and keeps it. Zone to zone to McCabe. Some contact there and the puck is loose. Slid to Opozo. That pass along the boards. That puck's loose, defended away by Coyle. On to Scandella. Wow, that's got to be a call. Oh, my, what a hit. That's one way to change the momentum of a hockey game. Be physical. Boston's got two for charging. Well, we love speed, we love contact, but in this particular situation, you must slow up a bit before you make contact. If you do, there won't be a penalty. But here, clearly, a charging call. Buffalo's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. It's dumped in. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. And at an angle to Darlene. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Clears the zone. They must retreat and start back again. Muscled right off. Moving it to Sherry. Gains the zone. And Fry. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. The Bruins are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. One of the big score! The power play cashes in. You always want your power play to make a mark, whether they score or not. They have to gain some momentum for your team. Here, they punch through with a power play goal. The Sabres have a 3-0 lead. They've had the puck most of this game. Over eight minutes still to be skated. They've scored again. Depending on which book you read, three may be the most dangerous hockey lead. We'll find out. The pad came in handy that time. Set on by Zdeno Chara. 57 seconds. Nice work by Bogosian. Steps across that line. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Locks on that to Chara. Cleared it back out of there. Terrific determination by Bogosian. Chip to Eichel. Important interception there. Oh, he just turned that puck over, guys, and that puck has to go forward 100% of the time when you're on the lead. Crosses that line. Let's it go. Took care of that one. And it's lifted back out of trouble. He's got it. Snapping a pass to Reinhardt. Shoots it off. Waffle boarded. 
Play stopped. That puck is just held. Critical face-off win there. Sends to the point. In the slot. Terrific poke check. Boston's penalty kill had to withstand a lot, and they only buckled once. The Bruins are driving it from the wing. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Good intercept in his own end. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The Bruins possess the play in no man's land. Read that play in his own end. World class deep there. Lift spot. No! Just missed the target on that shot. Laid on to Sherry. Puck free roadblock by Larson. Knocked off the puck. Outstanding point blank save. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. They're getting all organized now. Slides it to Scandella. Kicked away. Pressure now. Pitching it to Marshan. Trying to go to Pasternak. Got that pass in his own end. Nearing the last minute of this middle period. One minute left. He has that one measured in his own end. Now it's directed to DeBrusque. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Pass attempt to Larson. This is a tough one to work for. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Let's take a look at the two period shots on goal totals. They are whopping. 21 for the Sabres and 15 for the Bruins. The Bruins were counting on a tremendous performance in goal. They counted wrong. More in a moment. And supplies are limited. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? The Sabres are feeling confident with the score they put up on the board, but they cannot sit back because I'm expecting a response from the opposition here in the third. Third period has started here. Let's see what kind of a rocky ride we get. That move not too slick there. Pitching this one to Krejci. He's got that point pass. The Sabres have it along the side at mid-ice. They continue to work away. Advanced by this game. Boston's along the wing at center ice. On the outside, a shot. Made that stop. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Buffalo's in their own end moving the puck. Skill play by Pominville. Takes a look from the corner. Carries it behind the goalie. Great stick. No chance on that pass. Good shooting place. And a save. Boston's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Passing one off now to DeBrus. Skates it into the zone. Boston's got their man over on the delayed call, and the goalie rests at the bench. Buffalo's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. Now, oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. 
Boston's power play has had many opportunities, just not much success. Maybe that'll change. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets. And it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. Takes that pass. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Sent back again. Make him chase it. Good work by Buffalo. The Bruins with possession in the defensive zone. Long lead pass to McAvoy. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock helped. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Wouldn't let him bot. Watch out! A big hit! Marshawn's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. And that one goes back down. A tremendous job of penalty killing by the Sabres. Puck is thrown to Coyle. Carries it on in from center. Muscled long to Carlo. Loose puck blocked off by Coyle. Trying to clear it here. All the pressure still on as they can't clear. Hanks a shot. Terrific shot, but a denial. The Bruins' power play is over. They've had their problems tonight. That is up close and personal. Coyle's understanding his role, Doc, with that big hit. He hasn't had many of those here tonight. That might change the momentum in this game. Dogged determination there by Coyle. Perfect pass. Reinhardt picks it up back there gains the blue line has it back deep propelled to Eichel shoots didn't have time but he saved it anyway uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. Looking to Wagner. And he dumps it in. Gathered up again by Hutton. He hangs on and gets the whistle. The upcoming schedule's a good one. They'll kick off a lengthy homestand, a great chance to string together a few wins. Just a little under eight minutes to go in the period. The Sabres feeling good about themselves here, three to nothing. Buffalo's leading through mid-ice. What a hit! After he picks himself up, he's got to go get his helmet. It's spinning on the ice like a top. Fires! Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. Skinner's going to learn really quick that you cannot skate around the ice with your head down. You've got players looking to knock you into the third row. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. It's dumped in. Marvelous defensive play. What a gem that was. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Buffalo's winging it at neutral ice. Trying to relieve some of the pressure. Directing that one to Coyle. Gains the zone. Sherry's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Play is halted, and we have yet another penalty call. The Bruins have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Sabres get another power play. There is confidence here because they've been good. Let's see what happens this time. An important face-off for his team. 
brilliantly won. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. The Bruins in their own end ready an attack. Somebody got in early, and so it's an offside. And that's a face-off win. Gives it to the point. No luck getting through. Puck loose. Gotten quickly back. Moved along and in. Moving it to Scandella. Buffalo's play has put them in a spot here where they can look forward to two points if they can continue to protect this shutout. They have had an outstanding game. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. And he dumps it in. To Pominville. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Puck's loose, mishandled. Close in play. Nearly grazed the iron on that. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. It's dumped in. And that's directed up the wing to Middlestack. Slid to Sherry. And a save. Shoots one. Wonderful stop. Fantastic poke check. Can he get it out? Buffalo's power play not as good this time as before. It's an onside play. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. And a pass that just did not work and forces the ball back as far as center. What a heavy hit! Ristolainen's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skill. On to Marshan. Big drive! Just got enough! Ristolainen's carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. The parade to the penalty box means a parade of special teams from the benches. Boston's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Sabres win it. Caroms it on to Middlestaff. Chip to Pominville. Thrown to the slot. Score! It's another power play goal. thought the five hole was as good a spot to shoot as any. The goaltender can't really shut it down as the puck squirts through. The Bruins prevail on the draw. Snapping a pass to Krejci. Feathered back in. By number 19, Jake McCain. Time of the goal. The Sabres skated up on the side. 36 seconds. Bumped off. Pitching it to Pasternak. A terrific job at the goal crease. First shutout victory of the year. Something all of these guys can build on. Only the elite at this level could skate away with a zero on the board. He's going to be looking for more before this season is over.
so ends another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.